Hello again, it's Press, and I wanted to share um, a prayer and declaration for you tonight. It's not something I wrote, uh, but Darkita Erden wrote on uh, Facebook, but it's, uh, she's an intercessor who, who just writes beautifully, so I thought I will share this because it's so encouraging, okay? And I'm also praying that the prayers will be effective. And if you need help, that the prayers that I'm saying will give birth to some changes in your life. Okay. First, I'm declaring over you today that the enemy will not be able to stunt any of the plans and purposes God has for your life, for your family, for your region, and for your country. I speak prophetically into your very DNA that everything pertaining to your life will come into complete alignment and fullness of fruition with the plans and purposes and destiny of God for your life. I declare forth sudden miracles and breakthroughs in your life and in your spirit. I declare forth sudden miracles and breakthroughs in your heart and mind. I declare forth sudden miracles and breakthroughs in your families, in your finances in your churches, in your regions and countries, and in every area of your lives. I declare that the body of Christ is arising gloriously and coming fully into completeness of alignment with the plans and purposes of God for such a time as this. And um, while I was praying that, something else came to my mind. So the Lord, I feel like, wants me to um, pray. Um, Father, I just lift up everybody watching and I come against all division in their families and in their relationships with friends or family. And I pray, Lord, that you would destroy the witchcraft, divination, and sorcery that is coming against anybody listening. Ha, ha, ha. And that you will um, restore relationships and restore uh, ability to listen to one another, you know, between people because there's so much division in the nation, Lord, and that you would override everything the enemy has done to try and steal and rob um, our, our relationships with family and friends, Lord, and neighbors. In Jesus' name, I take authority and come against every assignment of the enemy to bring affliction, constriction, stagnancy, stuntedness, and hindrance over the God-ordained purposes of the people of God, regions, and nations. I can see God's just having me add a little bit here and there. Um, I say every assignment of the enemy to keep you, your finances, your family, your divine calling, your region, nation, or the body of Christ at large, stunted or stuck in destructive cycles of stagnation, is broken and that the rivers of God will flow. Hey, hey, bring breakthrough angels and angels of abundance, Lord, to everyone watching that their finances and um, things that they need breakthrough for will be uh, expedited in Jesus' name. I decree God is dealing a death blow to everything that came about to bring about <clears throat> excuse me, death, constriction, restriction, stagnation, affliction, and stunnedness to the purposes of his heart. Instead, the resurrection power of the living God is beginning to flow like a roaring river to break through and break down and overthrow anything and everything trying to stunt the destinies and the move of God upon the lives of the children of God, their families and their churches, their regions, their nations, to bring about explosive growth and expansion in the establishment of everything God has purposed for such a time as this. It shall be, and uh, it shall be so, and it shall not be otherwise, because of the name of Jesus. And in the name of Jesus, all delays, confusion, constriction, stagnation, hindrances, torment, torture, and harassment, and every other evil thing exalting itself against the knowledge of God must bow down to the overpowering authority of Jesus Christ. I prophesy over you that you have till now 
seeing the good of God, but you are about to see God's best. As you come out of cycles of stagnation and continue to grow and expand in the things of God, your maturity, your readiness, your capacity to contain and receive from God is expanding exponentially so that you're able to receive and experience more of God, more than you could have thought or imagined. And I'll add that the Word of God says in Ephesians 3, uh, 18, 19, etc., that you know, when we know the length and breadth and depth and width of the love that God has for us, then we can be filled with the fullness of God. So we ask for God's love to pour, be poured out like a river upon you and upon your family, upon your friends and um, neighbors, and that 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 love will be so overpowering that every chain will break because that's what he promised me okay god bless you with that and then i prophesy over you that you ha okay okay she said the best i think i got that part okay as you come out of cycles of stagnation and continue to grow and expand in the things of God, your maturity, your readiness, and your capacity to contain and receive from God is also expanding exponentially so that you're able to receive and experience the more of God, more than you could have thought or imagined. Hallelujah. God is taking you from glory to glory and I'll add grace to grace, and I declare that you are about to experience a level of elevation and outpouring from God that you've never experienced before, like the apostles did after receiving the fire of the Spirit of God at Pentecost. Amen. I declare you're about to soar upon wings like eagles with elevated understanding, wisdom, healing, maturity, and revelation from God that will increase exponentially your capacity for rest and peace in any situation and break you through to a whole new dimension of his glory. And I will add, when his glory comes, with it comes conviction because he will excavate the depths of your heart and he will point out to you error, places where you made mistakes, places where you didn't make the right choice and that you need to repent of or um, make right. And that happens to all of us, honestly. I don't care who it is. The glory of God exposes. It exposes. So if you're experiencing that now, which I would suspect many are, because I know I've been experiencing it, um, and he's getting at the little foxes that spoil the vine. And, and he's trying to purify your heart so that you'll be able to receive even more of his love and, and power. Okay, I declare you're about to experience dimensions and proportions of God's heart of love for you that, you're going to, that are going to set you fully free to soar and become all that God has created you to be. Rivers are beginning to flow from deserts and wildernesses are beginning to come alive again as they grow, expand, and bloom, not by might nor power, but by the spirit of the living God. I declare God is setting you on fire today and that you're about to boldly arise into all that you've been created to be and walk in fearlessly dressed in the royal garments of power and authority God has afforded you legally as a chosen, appointed, anointed, and much beloved child of God that you are born to carry out a mighty destiny as a giant slayer, history maker, and glory carrier for the glory of God, the establishment of his kingdom, and the salvation of many. As you go in and as you go out, and in all your comings and goings today, I speak forth an outpouring of the anointing of God that breaks every yoke, as well as the blessing of the Lord that brings no sorrow with it upon you and upon your loved ones in every area of their lives. I declare that you and your house shall be saved and will increase and expand by leaps and bounds by the power of the Spirit of God to apprehend the whole measure of the fullness of God in every single area of your lives. 
I decree and declare that of the increase of the government and peace of God, there shall be no end in your lives, in your families, in your regions, and in your nations. It shall be so, and it shall not be otherwise, because all that is coming against the plans and purposes of Almighty God must bow to the mighty name of Jesus that is above every other name. So no matter what is going on in the world, God is going to be with you. Um, oh, that reminds me of something that I was just talking to a friend about, because uh, this is uh, pretty much over, but um, I'll just share this one thing. A few years back, it's quite a few years now, I think, um, I was, the Lord told me to go see Mummy Returns. It was being advertised, and I thought, you know I don't like those movies. <laughs> That's what I thought in my heart. It's like, I don't want to go see Mummy Returns, you know. And um, But then I thought, well, if he wants me to go see it, I'll go see it. But I, I really I really hate horror movies or, you know, spooky stuff. And um, so I went to see the movie. I was able to sit through it and um, see certain things in it and that related to warfare, okay? And then I started to walk out to my car, and as I started to walk to my car, the Holy Spirit came on me so strong that I was like, oh, not here, Holy Spirit, let me get to my car, you know? Because my knees started feeling weak, and, and um, there was a joy in me, and I couldn't understand what was going on. And I got to the car, and I, as I sat down in the car and closed the door, the Lord said, did you notice how you weren't afraid like you used to be? And I just started laughing, and it wasn't just me laughing at him. It was the joy of the Lord being imparted to me as he said that. And I was laughing, and, and, and I just started crying then, you know, because I realized the reason he sent me there was... Well, it was multi-purpose, but part of it was to show that I didn't have that kind of fear anymore. And then uh, after that, he was also showing me a couple analogies. And one of them was when Brendan Fraser was, and Rachel Weiss were back-to-back -back fighting these mummies, the Lord had said to me, "I in this war of all wars at end times, I am going to be like that for my bride. I will never leave you or forsake you. I will be your rear guard. I will fight with you back to back. And um, so there were little things like that, you know, <laughs> in the movie that were very redeeming. There was one part where the, the rock who played the spider monster guy um, falls down. In, into this pit and it's got lava in it and Brendan Fraser is saying go back to hell where you belong <laughs> and I'm like yeah <laughs> so um, God can use anything you know to speak to you don't get so religious you know just go with the flow go with the wind of the spirit and um, and realize that that there's there's a whole lot of rules that people put on put on us in the church and he can do all kinds of things to speak to you and, and through different means so uh, I don't know why you want me to share that but I, I just thought okay I'll go with that because he was pointing it out and God bless you all in Jesus name and keep you in this hour <laughs>